Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I finish the doll. So, here's my little guy from yesterday. Here's the body. And here is the head. So, let's move these out of the way so you can see better. Remember I said that I make this little this little foot thing here so that I can make the neck to go inside of the jar. So what I actually do is this is kind of like pulling handles. I know not everybody watching this are potters, but when you make handles for a mug or anything that needs a handle, you get a lump of clay and you get it wet and then you kind of pull on it to lengthen it. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I've used a lot of different methods for making these doll heads. Um, this one kind of just occurred to me within this series and it seems to be working really well for me. I don't have to fuss with trimming or getting a real exact fit on these guys. I need to put a hole in this too. Since this head is airtight, as it dries, the clay will shrink as the water leaves. And if I don't poke a hole in this, the air has no place to go but to give, but to crack my piece. So, Once I get a little, you know, a little light bulb looking thing, I make sure that it fits down in there. It looks like it needs to be a little bit smaller. And while I'm making the neck, I also usually um, kind of play around with the head a little bit. Make sure that I like the shape. If there's any weird ridges that I'm not happy about or, you know, maybe... I want one area flat or I want it a little bit warped. I can do that now. All right, and that is a doll jar. Thanks.